Hello everyone, I'm Boiler and I welcome you to another seed video. Yeah, um, I was looking at some seeds and I found this one, uh, which I think is pretty interesting. Now, it, it doesn't have epic landscapes and stuff or mountains that reach all the way to the uh, Y256 level, but uh, it does have some other cool features. Now, we are at the spawn location. Uh, as you can see, we are in the desert, uh, which is in itself not that cool, but... Um, yeah, what's around here is cool. So we are in the desert around here. That's where you spawn and immediately what you will see is there's a village over there and Then if we go a little bit to the right, there's a village over there and Then there's a third village over there Okay, so we have three Villages very very close to the spawn point and you also have a jungle over there So the lack of wood in the desert should not be a problem. I mean just sprint over there to the village uh, Loot that stuff that's over there and then get some wood from the jungle. I mean, that's that's not that uh, difficult so you have three villages to um, To choose from right at the start here, but that is not all that is not all at all uh, we have more stuff for you. Uh, over here should be a desert temple somewhere. Uh, where is it? It's over here somewhere, I know. The one is over there, but there's a second one. Yep, yeah, there is it. So you have a uh, desert temple over there. So again, spawn point is around there. And here is your desert temple. One. And there's a second one over there. Again, spawn point is there. Uh, the desert temple is over there and you also have a ruined nether portal with uh, with enough uh, Obsidian to go to the nether Okay, that's here and yeah, there's a cave here, but I have better caves for you So you have that there's even a gold block uh, the chest is not that interesting I mean, there's not nothing in here that you really need but um, yeah um it's the obsidian that's interesting here. So you have a ruined nether portal and three villages and two temples. Uh, but there's more. There is more. I have to show you. So let's get over here. Um, again, that's the spawn point around here somewhere. That's where we spawn. And then if you go over here, that looks suspicious there, doesn't it? That looks very suspicious. That's because it is a mine shaft directly above ground here in the mountainside so you don't even need to go on the ground and you immediately have your mine shaft that you can explore here that's really that's really neat actually um but if you want to go out on the ground you can also do that so let's have a look here let's get some uh, night vision going here and then you can go in here and you have a massive cave. If you go down here, for example, you have a massive cave. Uh, that goes down to about Y level minus 9 or minus 10. So it doesn't go all the way down, but it's pretty big. You see a lot of ore exposed. You have dripstones, uh, everything you need. So uh, that's pretty cool. But of course, it's a little bit difficult to get down here. So uh, you probably want to go the other way over here, uh, which is a little bit easier because you can go down here. And if you go down here, you should be able to reach all the way down, I think. Or at least almost. If you go down here, you even see diamonds over there. Quite a bit of diamonds. Oh no, it's not, it's not diamonds, it's glow lichen. <laughs> I just saw, uh, just thought it was diamonds. No, there's a diamond uh, up there. So there's one diamond, at least, there. In the ceiling. But yeah, this is... um. This is minus 40, so it's it's not that far down to the bottom. So you could dig the rest. You could dig the rest up. So this is this goes pre down pretty far, and it's, there's a lot of exposed ore in these uh, cavern walls. So this is pretty cool for mining. Uh, right at the start, you can go in here and mine some mine some stuff. Yeah, but that's not all. That is not all. Uh, let's get over there. Um. So where is our spawn point? Our spawn point is over there. Uh, because there's another big uh, cavern where you can get immediately uh, on the ground. Where was it? Was it that one? Um, no, it's not that one. It's that one over there. So uh, pretty close to the village here, you can go into this cavern here. 
and this goes also very very deep and it should have a mine shaft in here somewhere yep there's another mine shaft so you have one mine shaft above ground over there and then you have a second one over here uh now the lava has destroyed a bit of it but uh there's your mine shaft so let's get in here Ugh. there is your mine shaft right here okay so we have that one as well two mine shafts very close to where you spawn and of course you can go all the way down here uh, at least i think so where did we come in i think it's over here where you can go down all the way uh, now i now i'm lost now i am lost no it was over here yeah i mean we are pretty deep we are yeah minus 40 yeah minus minus 47 so this is about as deep as the other hole it's uh just 15 blocks or so until you hit the rock bottom so again this is very deep you can get in here and get a lot of ore out of this uh, of this cave that's pretty cool it's very close to the spawn again uh as i said spawn point is over there so there's a spawn point there's one village two village third village over there the jungle is also over there, and then you have the mineshaft there, you have a big cavern there, you have another big cavern here, another mineshaft here, you have one uh, desert temple over there, you have a second one over there, you have a ruined nether portal over there somewhere. That's all very close to the spawn point, that's pretty cool. And if you like some crazy terrain, uh, it's not epic terrain, but it is crazy terrain, I can show you that pretty quickly. I mean, uh, let's let's get rid of the UI, let's show you this. So we have some pretty crazy terrain going on, and we have some pretty bad weather uh, going on. Uh, clear. No, I don't need the set command. So, um, okay, so pretty, pretty uh, crazy mountains here. That really re reminds me of Minecraft of old. I mean, uh, in the early days of Minecraft, you would have stuff like that all the time. Now these days, uh, not so much, but uh, yeah, you can see it here. <laughs> okay, that is a pretty crazy terrain here. Floating mountains, overhangs, just jacket and weird and whatever. It's just very crazy. And there's the next village over there. So uh, and another one over there. So that's that makes. I mean, now we are uh, a bit from the spawn point, but there are the next two villages that you could uh, could get to, okay? So, uh, yeah, there's quite a few villages around here. Um, what's also pretty cool in this series, it has a massive mushroom island. That's actually why I started uh, exploring it in the first place. So, I didn't... I didn't think it has a great starting location until I saw what kind of starting location it has. But uh, the cool thing that I that made that made me look at it was the mushroom island it has. And actually, let's let's have a look at this. Do you see where they have their hay balls? They have their hay balls on the floating island. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So yeah, we go back to the spawn point. The spawn point is over there. So the other two villages over there beyond the mountains are not too far away as well. So yeah, you have quite a village population here if you need that. So uh, yeah, I will go to the uh, Mushroom Island uh, pretty quickly. So let's get the UI back. Uh, TP. So the Mushroom Island is minus 5000 um, and then minus 3000. So that's where the Mushroom Island is. And while it loads in, So, this is the Mushroom Island, and let me quickly show you why I find this impressive. I mean, I have shown you a video with a massive 1,000 blocks across Mushroom Island. Now, the thing with that was, it was 1,000 blocks across in both directions. It was basically a circle, more or less. Now, let me just skip out of Minecraft pretty quickly. Um, let's get the uh, Biome Finder. Uh, up and let's show you this uh, this mushroom island. So the spawn point is down here, around here somewhere. Okay, that's the spawn point, and <laughs> then uh, this is the mushroom island. As you can see, this is uh, six thousand, and then over here that's four thousand. So it's two thousand blocks across in this direction, and in the other direction it is. 
527 and then 37. It's a, a thousand blocks in the other direction. 2000 by 1000 blocks. This this thing is massive, okay? Uh, where do I get back to Minecraft? So this thing is absolutely massive. This is a continent. This is not a mo this is not an island, okay? So if you like mushrooms, huh? If you like mushrooms, I mean, I don't even see the end of it. I am um, uh, playing with a render distance of uh, 48 chunks. I don't see the end of it. I mean, this is crazy. This is this is a continent. You could, if you are in the middle of this, you 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 could be under the impression that mushrooms is all uh, that Minecraft has to offer. <laughs> you don't see anything else. I mean, let me show you this. So you because the um. Because the island is not round, uh, you have, of course, space uh, places where you see uh, the uh, the ocean on both sides. But uh, yeah, if you if you are on the ground, you don't see that. Let's let's get down here. Let's get down here and uh, let let me show you this. So if you're in the middle of this, you don't see anything else. You just see mushrooms everywhere. Everywhere, just mushrooms. That is crazy. <laughs> that is absolutely crazy. Yeah. And uh, and that's it for this seed. That's it for this seed. Uh, I didn't find more interesting stuff. It, it it's a seed with very few mountains actually, so it's a very flat seed as far as I'm concerned. Um, so if you want epic mountains and stuff, I wouldn't recommend this. But if you like a good starting location with lots of villages and uh, desert temples and stuff, and then if you want a huge mushroom island, so let's get uh, the UI out of the way. Let's have a final look at this. If you want a huge mushroom island, then this is your this is your seed. And actually, there's a massive cave down there as well. Okay, what is that? What is it? Let, let me go down there pretty quickly. What is that? Oh, that's a lush cave. And a mine shaft. Cool. So I um, uh, don't have night vision, but we, we do have some light in here, so yeah, we have a lush cave, we have another uh, another mine shaft over here, but of course this is uh, pretty far from the spawn point, but if you want to go to this uh, to this mushroom island, yeah, you have your lush cave and your, and your um, mine shaft right there. So let's find, let's find a spot where I can say goodbye, and now we have rain, yeah. Let's get rid of that. I don't like rain. We had enough rain over the past few weeks where I live. It was raining all the time. <laughs> yeah, so that's it for today. So this is the seed that I wanted to show you. A cool starting location with lots of villages and temples and stuff to uh, to raid with uh, two mine shafts very close, one above the surface, one on the ground. Two massive caverns uh, where you can access all the way to the bottom of the world. So yeah, this is if you if you want to make progress as fast as possible, this is pretty this is a pretty good uh, pretty good seed to start in. So yeah, that's what I wanted to show you today, and I hope you liked it. If you did, please leave a like below. Be back for more Minecraft videos, and yeah, uh, so uh, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't yet. Until next time, I wish you all the best. Uh, be safe, stay healthy, and yeah, have a good time. Bye.